So do y'all want to go through some patterns with me? I just got through doing a video on everything that I crochet. Oh, by the way, welcome. My name is Marsha with Mimi Makes Keepsakes. I'm happy that you're here. I just got through speaking with you about some crochet projects that I've done. And I'm picking up on some sewing projects. There's a sneak peek of something that I finished. And her, I've already talked to y'all about her. But I'm like, I've got all of these old patterns. Some are from my children's granny. Some are from my mom. Some I think that I may have had, but I haven't went through them in a long time. Very, very long time. Probably 15 years, if not more. So I have this big bag. I apologize for the crinkle. And I have this big tote. Well, this is not a big tote. And I'm thinking I wanna go through them to see. Remember, I don't know, some of y'all may not remember, but when my kids were little, their um, grandma, my mom, their mama, my mom made them the sweetest little bunnies and with the long floppy ears, and I have them put up somewhere. But I'm into making the Luna Laughing Bunny. Sneak peek, I'll talk to you about it later. But I'm thinking, I wonder if my mom gave me that pattern. And I'm thinking she may have. But I haven't been through this in ages. Probably haven't been through it since I boxed it up. But let's go through, if you don't mind, go through it with me and let's see what I have. <laughs> this is exciting. I'm looking forward to going, <laughs> going through it. Um, so the first one is Sewing for Dummies. So these are Barbie clothes. I think this is a pattern that I bought to sew my girls some clothes for their Barbies. And it doesn't look like I've ever used it. I can t tell you right quick. Nope. <laughs> this is folded back too neatly. So I haven't even used this. But I bought it with the intentions, I'm sure, to sew my girls some Barbie clothes when they were younger. And you can kind of look at the style to see... This was probably the early 90s. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I think this is another one that I bought. Thinking, oh, that would be easy to make up. Another one that I bought years ago. You know, I think I was looking at a pattern very similar to this. I'm thinking, oh, I can make a purse. Because <clears throat> Caroline from The Love of Crochet, she makes the prettiest... See, this is folded back way too neat. So, no, I haven't used that one. I need to shop my stash before I go buy patterns. Because I'm bad about seeing something like, oh, I like to make that. Also, we uh, this one's been used, definitely. I've made, yeah, I remember I made my daughter one of these ponchos when she was younger. This is a very old pattern. I can't remember if I made something from this or not. I don't think so. Isn't that pretty? Like a little prairie dress. Here's another one. It's another old pattern. Isn't that pretty? This has been used. This may have came from my girl's granny because I don't think I've used that one. Another one, a little baby dress and outfit. I love the little apron front, isn't that pretty? It has the little bloomers, that's so sweet. All right, a skirt. 
I think I bought this with the intentions of making me a skirt years ago. And I don't think I even used it. Well, I may have. Nope. Just fold it back too neatly. Let's see what the sizes are. Oh, yeah. 10, 12, 14. So, yeah, I can definitely use that one. This one. Oh, yeah. It's another skirt pattern that I bought. And I don't think I've made this one either. Have all these good intentions. Nope, haven't used this one. This is sizes 6, 8, and 10. Must have been back when I was like young and skinny. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, yeah, I used this one. So my daughter, my oldest daughter had a book fair and she had to dress up and her book was about animals and being a veterinarian. And I made her some scrubs out of cute little, <coughs> excuse me, cute little animal print and made her some scrubs to wear as part of her book fair at school. Cute. I remember that. It's kind of like a memory book, too. Oh, that's cute. That's not one of my patterns. I think that was one that um, was gifted to me. But it's so cute. It's got the little bloomers, and I love that little um, apron front on that dress. <laughs> Y'all, you can tell. Look at the little pantsuit on this one. That's adorable. Yep, no, but I didn't buy this one. This one was handed down to me. But the little boy outfit, that one's cute. That one's not quite as dated. Yeah, I bought this to make when my girls were young. In the early 2000s. 19, well, yeah, 1990, yeah, early 2000s. I don't think I used it. Maybe I did. This is another dated pattern. Look at that. It's so cute. The little pantsuit. Isn't that adorable? This is another one that's dated. I believe this is a pattern my mom gave me that she used for me back in the day. I made a skirt. Because remember back, y'all that are my age, back in when I was in junior high, the corduroy or the plaid skirt was really big with the blazer. And you had the little boat, little ribbon you tied around the neck of your shirt that went under the blazer. So this is definitely a pattern my mom used to make for me. And I believe it was this skirt right here. This is also a pattern that I bought for myself back in the early, the late, well, late 90s, early 2000s that I never used. Another one. It'd be so simple. Never used it. Bought it for myself. Never used it. <laughs> I found it. So mama gave me this pattern. Uh, look, look at the bunnies. The long-eared bunnies. So I'm definitely going to have to pull this out. See if all the pieces are in it. And make some of these big bunnies. Because they're so stinking cute. I remember it was in the early 90s, 1990s. Bunnies were really big. Um, my aunt, my mom's oldest sister, she always had little bunnies sitting around everywhere in her house. So cute. So, yeah, this one's staying out. <laughs> For sure. I'm so happy I found this. Yeah, and my mom, she's also made me a pair of bunnies. So sweet. So this is staying out. That's the pattern I was looking for. Oh, y'all look at this. Another old pattern. 
Isn't that adorable? My granddaughter is 10 now, and she is, she's almost as tall as I am. She's going to be a tall girl. Her dad's tall. My son's tall. My mom is pretty tall. My mom's, some of her sisters are pretty tall. My mom and her sister actually played basketball in high school. They went to state, their team at the time, and won state. And um, so, yeah, she's, she's, I mean, she's not like six foot, but she's a pretty tall lady. And so I think my granddaughter's going to be tall. But you know what? My mom and her sisters were tall. And she said her mom and my grandma would always tell them, you better not sloop them shoulders. She's like, you better stand up straight. Keep them shoulders straight. <laughs> oh, she wouldn't let them sloop, slump. This is another pretty one. That's like a little pageant dress. Look how cute. I don't know if I'll have another granddaughter, baby. Never know what the good Lord has in store for you. Another little one. These were all patterns that were gifted to me. Another sweet little one dress. That is so sweet. So, yeah, um, my kid's granny, she had one, two three, four granddaughters. So she was making for the grands, I'm sure. Another vintage sleep pajama pattern. Oh, this one was well-loved. Right here. Isn't that cute? Yeah, size three child. That was well-loved. Another one that was well-loved. <laughs> you can tell the style on this dress. That's pretty dated. This is another one that's well loved. You can see the measurements are written on it. A lot more talented women than I was, than I am as far as sewing. Now this one is in a bag. This is a pattern that was well loved. It's in its own Ziploc bag. Let me see what it looks like. Oh, that's so cute. Isn't that pretty? Definitely a little sundress. Now I'm not sure what shape what condition the pattern itself is in. I mean, it should be fine because it's been in a box. This is, I guess I can show you. I'm not sure. I think that may be a pattern my mom had and gave to me. Another little dress. Isn't that cute? Another little boy pattern with overalls. Even though it's dated, I think this would still be a cute little outfit for a boy. Look, another cute one. I love the little collar. Isn't that pretty? Another little cute little set. Kind of a, a blast from the past. I actually, I think this was my mom's because I remember having a pants set similar to that in a picture. And it has Hancock fabrics, no refunds, no exchange. And I remember in the picture, it was summer. My face had little, you know, it had a little sunburn on it. And my hair was pulled up in a bun, so tight. I told Mama, I said, it's worth my eyes wasn't going back. I said, I remember that picture so well because of how tight the bun was on my hair. But my mom had me looking cute. Looking cute. This one. 
they cute? All these fancy frillies. My mom made this dress for me. I remember that. Um, I believe it was the one with the collar. Another little pajama set for children. Cute. Yeah, now this is dated for sure. <laughs> but it's fun to look through this. Fun to enjoy. I mean, like I said, it's been a while. I don't even know if I look through some of this. That's an old one. This, another little pattern, pants set, little smock dress, like a little onesie, long, long pants with onesies and a little sleeper. This is cute. I like that one. I believe, no, mom didn't make me that. Look how cute. A little baby boy outfit. Isn't that adorable? Another one. These are so old. Isn't that cute? The little pantsuits and the little penny loafers. This is cute. Little bell bottoms. <laughs> I like that. That is so cute. Butterwick. I remember Butterwick. Isn't that precious? I like the little bow tie around the neck. Adorable. Another one. Another little pants set, dress set. And this one is like this. So let me look and see. This one was definitely loved. Oh, y'all. Simplicity 15 cent pattern. This is very, very old. I'm going to try and open it up without messing up the cover. Look at that. 15 cents for a pattern. Can you see? And this is drawn. It's not, I mean, oops. A lot of the older patterns, they have the pictures um, drawn on there instead of like a photograph. And I'm opening this up. I don't see any markings on the pattern, but look at there. Still got the pattern. I don't see any markings. I don't know if it faded or it just never did have markings on it. Um, so this is going to go back into this plastic, plastic envelope. <clears throat> Definitely very old. 15 cents for a pattern. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I hope you're having fun. This is so much fun to go through. I am hope you like stick with me for a little bit. Oh, this is so cute. It's stapled. Not sure why it's stapled, but I'm not going to pull the staples out. This is something. Another little, look how cute. You can get the little head scarf. Oh, look at this a little drop. What? Oh, gotta be careful. A pattern stuck in a bit. Look at the little drop waist. That is so cute. I love that. My mom made me a drop waist dress. And I loved it. It used to be in style. Trust me, it was the 20s and it came back around like the 80s, little drop waist, like a Lauren Ashley dress. 
I guess that's the um, kind of the style. Look at this, y'all. This pattern was 85 cents. But that is so cute. I love it. Love it. Another one. This pattern was 75 cents. Isn't that cute? Even has a little applique, it looks like. Transfer, transfer applique included. I wonder if it's still in there. I think I should look. I'll set it aside. <laughs> I feel like I'm boring you to death. Oh, look, and another one. Little children's pants set. I feel like there's two in here. Nope, this one was 50 cents. And let's see. Another one. 70s for sure. This one was 85 cents. <laughs> what do y'all think about that? Isn't that groovy? Yeah. I love it. Oh, these are old. Cutting and sewing directions. Look at these. Maybe it's just missing a cover. Here's another one. Isn't that cool? So the kid's granny probably gave this to me back when I was in the middle of raising three kids, two years apart, trying to sew, trying to make sure everybody is bathed, fed, school. Then I started homeschooling and I probably haven't even went through these very much. Now, I remember this pattern. I don't know if it's one that I bought with the intentions of making my kids some sleepwear. I mean, it's been used. I don't remember. Like I said, a lot of times those days were, oh, there's the drop waist dress my mom made me. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Yeah. It's so pretty. Of course, you know, in high school, everybody's skinny. Oh, I don't know if I could wear that now or how it would look. I'm like falling over. And this one, this may have been one I bought for myself, thinking I'm going to sew it, and I did not. Oh, let's see. Complete set transfers. Hmm. Not familiar with that. Oh, this one's been well loved. Look at that. I'm not sure if that's looks like it was stuck in an envelope to preserve the pattern. And there's this on the back. Pretty though, I like it. This is so cute. Another older pattern. This is probably more of the 80s, the drop waist style. And oh, there's another one. My mom made this dress for me. I remember that. I believe it was for. I forgot what it was for, but she, I remember her. Ma she made this dress for me. Another older one. It's so pretty. Yeah. One more look. And we have this, another little girl's dress with a little cape that goes around the shoulders. Oh, this is so cute. Isn't that cute? 
I like that. It has a transfer that comes with the pattern. That's so cool. And it was 50 cents. 60 if you lived in Canada. And this says Patsy Ruth. That's my mama's sister. So some of these may have came from my aunt, too. Here's my Aunt Pat's. My mom had um, six sisters. Let me see. There was, yeah, six sisters my mom was. So there's seven girls and one boy. Oh, I miss the aunts. That was a fun time growing up, sitting around the table when you were allowed to sit around the table and listen to all the aunts talk. Oh, this is cute. Stuffed animals and pillows. That's cute. So, I don't know what condition they would be in if I decide to take them out of the package. But it's very, some of these are very, very old. A little prairie outfit. Look at that bonnet. I used to have a bonnet made like that. I don't know if mom made it for me or if granny Annie made it for me. Um, she was, granny Annie was my grandpa's wife. My dad's mom passed away before I was born. She had breast cancer. So, and then when my grandpa remarried granny Annie, she would make me all kinds of things. She would make me she would, I don't know if, she, yeah, it looked like it was crochet. Now that I think about it, crocheted a shawl for me. And it was these beautiful rainbow colors. And I loved it. I wore it all the time. I can remember having it when I was in kindergarten. And then she would like crochet me a purse. And I believe she sewed me a bonnet that was reversible. It's funny how you remember things out of the blue. I haven't thought about that in years. And this, this is very old. <laughs> that one I'm trying to keep it from falling off the counter oh now this is very dapper look at that I like that that is so cute almost down to the end of the tote got this little jumper like a little I guess it's a jumper. I'm going to have to start putting these back. And, oh, there's one more out of this tote. If you can see, kind of get an idea. A little pleated skirt. All right, I'm going to put you on pause, and then we'll go through the bag. Okay, so I got those boxed back up in the tote before they started sliding off of my desk. And I went ahead and took the other ones out of the plastic bag. So you wouldn't have to hear the rattling of the bag. And I gotta watch my time. Okay, never mind. I have to work tonight. Tonight is our food truck Friday um, on the street where I work. And so the bakery's gonna stay open tonight. So I'm going to work tonight. It'll be a lot of fun. So I have to remember that because I normally don't work on Friday nights. All right. So, so these look like some patterns that I may have bought to sew for my girls. And I can't remember. I can tell you if I used it or not. Nope. I haven't used it. But I like that. Um, that might would fit my granddaughter. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is another pattern I think maybe I bought for myself. It's going to make me a dress. I have not. It's only a dollar sixty-six. Nail patterns run like eight bucks, dollar forty-four or more. Um, this was one that I bought. I was going to make for my girls. And I think I did because it's cut out. Isn't that pretty? Another one. 
I don't, I'm not sure where this one came from, but it's cute. And another one, I think I may have bought it to make my girls a dress. Did I use it? Nope, I did not. <laughs> All the intentions. I probably bought the fabric too and just never did. Never did. This one's cute. I can't remember if I made that dress for them or not. But y'all, you know how it is. And I, you ha I had, what, three kids two years apart. And it was, it was always a party at my house. <laughs> Whether I wanted a party or not. Now, I did use this pattern. I made my son a Western shirt. I remember that. And I remember this little part here. I didn't put the fringe on it, but I did. Because back when, of course, my kids grew up on a small farm. And they had like the Mo Better Western shirts. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Anyway, I'm making my son a Western shirt. And I didn't put the fringe. I had it two different colors. I didn't do it. I mean, these were not the colors that I used. But this part right here was definitely a challenging learning experience. I wonder if I even finished it. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I made, I did do this. I made my daughter one of these little um, dresses. And it was so cute. It was like navy, had little apples on it. Or was it red? I don't know. I remember it was a cute material. I think I had apples on it. And I did little apple buttons. Or did I put, but yeah, buttons. So cute, like a little prairie dress. That is adorable. I think I got this. I don't think I used this one. Yeah, I did. It's all cut it out. Cut it, cut it. Yep, I've used that one. Probably made them some shorts. And here's an older pattern. I think someone gave that one to me when my girls were younger. Late 90s. I don't think I used it. Another one. I think I used that one for my girls. Pretty easy make. Another one. They're cute. All the naughty kids. <laughs> All you naughty kids. Also that one. That's so cute. Fun make. I think that one was gifted to me. I haven't used that. So definitely need to shop my stash before I purchase patterns. Wow, that looks like the same one. So I pulled this one up. I'm like, no, I done showed y'all that one. It looks very, very similar to that, but it's different, it's definitely 90s. And costumes. This one was gifted to me also. So I did a little bit of sewing when my kids were little. And then I was gifted a lot of patterns at the time, which I'm thankful for. So I have all of these patterns. Some are very old. Some look like they're from the 50s and 60s. Definitely 70s, 80s, 90s. Um, I enjoyed going through them. I hope you enjoyed going through them with me. Put these back in here. I was happy to find the rabbit pattern. My mom must have gave that to me. I wonder if she was looking for this. I'm not to ask her. <laughs> when did I have? Oh, I was going to look and see if the, um, let's see if the transfer is in here. See the little seal with the ball? It's a transfer applique. And it does look like this pattern has been used because these pieces are cut out. Wow, those are bold lines. Let me show you. Wow. So anybody that sewed, these markings are very bold. Hmm. At least they are to me. 
Let's look for the iron-on transfer for the little seal. I think that's, I see a seal. <laughs> but I don't, oh yeah. Look. See what? There he is. So you have several of them. Can y'all see? Oh, you probably can't see. Stamping directions. Important, important, important. <laughs> Make the following to test before. Oh, you got a little test square. To test on your garment since transfer react differently um, on various fibers fabrics. We cannot guarantee the stamping or the removal of transfers. One, test a trial on the scrap of your garment fabric. Test removing the stamp either by washing. Anyway, I thought it was cool. I'm not going to sit here and bore y'all with all this, but I thought that was cool. Has anybody bought patterns lately that may have like a transfer in it? I don't know. Like I said, I'm getting back into sewing. It's almost like it's new again for me. And I was looking for the rabbit pattern. I found it. I'm so happy. I'm going to talk to mom and see if, if she was looking for it. I think I remember her asking me a couple years ago. And I'm probably like, no, I don't have it. <laughs> But this has been fun. It's kind of like walking through memory lane through the through the decades of patterns. Um, but like I said, I'm starting to sew again, and it's fun, and it's new again for me. So I will do another video soon about my makes. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to go finish up. I got another bunny. I got to do her dress. She's been waiting for her dress. She's been worrying, worrying about her dress all day. But... <laughs> It is fun, and I appreciate you hanging out with me. If you've enjoyed the video, let me know. But it's all about patterns, and that's all I got to show y'all today. So thanks for hanging out with me and going through these patterns with me and helping me find the rabbit. All right, talk to you later. Bye, y'all.